I hate TikTok. I'm sick of scrolling and just seeing brain rot. And I would watch Instagram Reels, but every time I open that app, I end up seeing someone getting eaten by a tiger or something. But that made me think, could any other social media app get worse? So I decided to look up what the worst social media was, and the overwhelming answer was this app called Lemon8. I thought I was gonna be able to, I don't know, like make a wallpaper, but this is basically just a ripoff of Pinterest. I already wrote a review. I also deleted the app and tried again. I'm not eligible for the app, I guess. The app is marked at 12 plus, but the minute I say I'm 17, it bans me. Age restrictions, even though it works like Pinterest, just get Pinterest. I'm 17 and it won't let me in. So it seems the main problem is people can't even get into the app. Well, let's try it. <laughs> that didn't go to plan. So my goal is to go viral on Lemonade. The only problem was, as you can see, the reviews uh, aren't too great. Now let's get some things straight. What do we classify as viral? Ooh, what do we classify What's as viral? viral? I have I no. Since I'm not giving myself too long to do this, we will just say that I have to at least get 10,000 likes. I think that's doable. But don't worry, I'm hoping for a lot more than that. Here's the app, and the first thing it's asking me to do is put in my date of birth which I don't have very high confidence in based on the reviews, so. Okay, what are my interests? All right, for this account, let's say travel, relationships, skincare. I'm thinking if this app is kind of like Pinterest, I should go down like the mom style route. Wellness, that's a good one. All right, next. All right, I'm gonna sign in using my phone number because I don't feel like making up an email, so. Set up profile, this is what I'm excited for. So if we wanted to kind of be like a mom, we need to make up a name. Let's go with Marcia Wilmington. Oh, Marcia Wilmington. Wilmington. Oh, we also need a picture. So we're gonna go to Google. We're gonna look up random old mom. Ooh, that's perfect right there. Yes, make that a profile picture. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. Next, here we go, and we're in. Marsha Wilmington. All right, now we have zero followers, we're following zero, we have zero likes and saves. I think the first thing we need to do is put down a bio to make everyone know what we're here for. Loving mother of four. Love emoji, big fan of the beach eh, emoji. And obviously we gotta go with cat mom. And we got our, our bio. All right, so let's see what type of content I should be posting on here. I'm just gonna scroll for a little bit and see if I get any good ideas. The app is literally Pinterest, like there's no difference. Okay, so there seems to be a lot of stuff on like dating and like date ideas and mini date ideas and stuff. So I think I'm gonna go down that route. Basically the way I made these posts was I went on Google, found some cool pictures of like couples and stuff, and then I took ideas from either ChatGPT or other posts that I saw about little date ideas and relationship stuff, and then I posted them. My goal was to post three photos a day until we went viral. <laughs> So these right here are the three posts that I made. This first one is five mini date ideas. As you can see, picnic, beach, sunset, dance in the rain, all that good stuff. After that, guess what? We got 10 more date ideas. Then after that, we have ways to be happier in a relationship. I think this one might pop off because it's got a cool aesthetic. All right, I'm going to bed. I will see you guys when I wake up. All right, guys, I just woke up. Let's see how my posts are doing. All right, lemon eight. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, this doesn't look great. Okay, great. So it didn't do too good, but honestly, I wasn't really expecting it to. Now, I don't really think this is a problem with the posts, but I do believe that we just need to post more. I think eventually we will get a post that goes semi-viral. But also, just in case there is something wrong with the posts, let's switch up the niche. Instead of going relationship type, let's go food, cooking, baking, stuff like that. Okay, so instead of making the photos in my phone, I'm gonna make them on Photoshop on my computer this time so you guys can't say this is low effort or whatever. But I'm thinking of doing some cooking type stuff. So I'm gonna do like a how-to, except it'll just be a photo and it'll be like step one, step two, step three, step four. First thing I need to do is get a recipe. So I'm gonna go to ChatGPT, give me a step by step recipe, a rainbow layer cake. 
Okay, so we got our rainbow layer cake recipe. All right, now we have got all of them finished and it's just time to post it. All right, we're back on Lemonade on Marsha Wilmington's page and we're gonna post our new and improved cooking how-to thing. Add a catchy headline, how to make a rainbow. Gosh, I cannot spell. I'm gonna go to ChatGPT. I'm actually just gonna copy this entire thing and then just put it straight in the description. Rainbow cake layer recipe and let's post it. Boom, how to make a rainbow cake up and ready. I think this one might go viral. All right guys, it's basically the end of the day too. I will see you tomorrow with the results. All right guys, I just woke up. It is day three and it's time to check the results. All right, it's time to see what we got. I have some pretty high hopes for today. So let's get on to lemonade. Come on, please. Okay, notifications are making me feel great. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, 100% take that. Okay, so this definitely means we're sticking on the cooking type photos. Now, the only problem we have is that we're getting a couple views on our posts, but we're not getting any likes and we're not getting any followers. So let's do something to change that. Instead of just posting the pictures, I'm gonna post them with a little call to action, which means I'm gonna ask the people who are viewing to follow and like which you guys should also do because I spend a lot of time making these videos and I try really hard on them. Anyway, enough of that. It's time to get back to the game plan. Well, Mason, what's the game plan? Oh, good question. The game plan is to go viral and you asked me how I might do that is to make more of these stupid cooking photos. All right, guys, I'm gonna be real here. It's basically the end of day three and if we don't have a post pop off pretty soon, I don't think we're going anywhere. I will say I did post a new type of content, I guess, and I hope that's gonna do pretty well. It's kind of niche, so we'll see. With all that being said, I will see you in day four. I'll see you in day four. Good morning. It's the morning of day four now, which means it's time to check our results from yesterday. I am really hoping this is the day that they go crazy. All right, it is time to check our day four result, or I guess day three results. 41 notifications. Yes! Three followers, come on! Okay, these didn't really go very hard. Oh, we got a bunch more views on the brownie one and the Oreo truffle ball. Let's go, dude. Jenna Rice, the absolute goat, the first of many. Queen Hands and Shakira Tate. There's no way that's her name, bro. Marsha Wilming 2 is going a little further. All right. There's a big problem here. There's one day left in this challenge and I haven't gone viral yet. Not even close. That means I'm gonna have to do some digging. Keywords, I have to add keywords. Always include a cashy headliner hook. This would like to call them in your car photo or as a text overlay. All right, I think I've got it. This is the day. All right, what's up, y'all? It is day five now. We're on the last day of the challenge. I haven't checked my phone this morning. Um, but basically, we got to go viral here. I'm going to try the rest of the day. If I don't go viral, to just pop out as many posts as I can, call on as many posts as I can, all that stuff. But honestly, I don't know how it's going to go. So it's time to check, basically, what we got. So as I went onto the app this morning, I wasn't too happy with what I saw originally. I went to my notifications. I realized we got a couple new followers. We got some likes, but we definitely didn't go viral. And this was a little upsetting because I had tried so hard today. I'd posted like seven times. I'd commented on a bunch of posts. I'd used templates, all this different stuff and just nothing. But that didn't mean I was going to let up. I still have the rest of today to go viral. I mean, it's probably not going to happen, but you know, I can try. And the rest of the day, I went absolutely crazy calm asking for follows, all this stuff. I mean, look at me go. Look how positive. I mean, look how positive Marsha Wilmington is. And I even made some memes. Me on Mother's Day, after I realized I forgot to buy my mom a gift. I'm the gift. Wow, that's funny, isn't it? All right, guys, this is it. The blood, sweat, and tears that I went through to go viral on this platform. Let's see if it all paid off. Lemon eight. Here we go. 
All right, what's up, y'all? That being said, I will see. All right, guys, I just woke up. Guys, it's basically the end. I am really hoping this is the day that they go crazy. We did not make it. <laughs> Dude, we got nothing. We got one new follower from it. Honestly, I'm not too disappointed. I tried my hardest. You can see I posted a lot. Like, I literally posted a lot for five days. Followed a bunch of people. I followed literally as many people as they let me. This is honestly one of the hardest social medias I've ever tried to grow on. But you know what? That's okay because I learned a lot from this. Marsha Wilming too may not have gone viral, but she did share her love cooking, traveling, of home finds, of journaling to the world. Everyone, thank you, and I will see you in the next one. God bless you guys, and I'm praying for y'all's week.